Hi everyone, this is Davis Clay, your Galveston Bay Area Chapter Master Naturalist, hoping you'll join us on our bird videos. Today we're going to start our bird video series in Jane's backyard. We want to get all of our master naturalists, especially our emeritus group, interested in birding with us. And so we're going to put on these short videos to show you some of our local birds in our backyards and encourage you to go out and bird in your own backyard. So we'll take you on our virtual birding trip this afternoon. Thank you. Hi, Jane. Hey, Davis. How you doing? I'm good, and you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for inviting us to your backyard today. Well, I love having you here. I love sharing birding with people. That's what makes it so much fun. Well, thank you so much. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing all the birds. What kind of birds have you seen today? Well, today's been a little sparse, but I've seen, I did see two hummingbirds, which was nice. Um, I've seen a few cardinals, chickadees, red-bellied woodpecker. Um, I think I saw a Carolina wren. Good. Just some good backyard birds. Just some good backyard birds, ones that are a lot of fun to watch. Well, that's wonderful. Um, a lot of people would like to go out in their backyard and immediately see a bird. What do you think about that? Is that the way to bird in your backyard? I don't think that works very well. <laughs> <laughs> That's, now, you know, you might get lucky. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I have, I have no intention of birding and I come out and holy cow, there's birds everywhere. Uh -huh. But more likely I come out, bring my cup of coffee, Mm -hmm. Sit down, sometimes I even bring the newspaper and read the newspaper while I'm glancing up every few seconds. So uh -huh. you need to give it a little bit of time. So you have to have some patience. You have to have some patience. I think that's good advice because I know when I'm even going on bird walks, it really pays to stop and just stand there for just a few minutes and see what's, what's happening around you. It certainly does. Otherwise you'll miss a lot of things. Yeah. Well, what else can you do to uh, get birds to come to your backyard? Well, you plant plants that attract birds. So yeah. in this case, this is kind of my hummingbird garden here. Uh -huh. I have Mexican honeysuckle, which is not a native, but you know, sometimes you cheat. And um, the, the hummingbirds like it. I have fire spike. I have uh -huh. hummingbird or hummingbird bush, whatever you want to call that. Yes. And then I have trees and shrubs that the birds can go hide in. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a water feature. Yeah, let's go look at your water feature. It's not a fancy water feature. It's a do-it-yourself kind of thing. Uh, the important thing is to keep it clean uh -huh. and to um, have some kind of circulation. So right. I <laughs> have a very ugly drip set up. <laughs> but it brings in lots of birds. What that does is those birds that don't eat your bird feed uh -huh. and don't aren't hummingbirds that are way up in the top of the trees right. come down to take a bath or get a drink. Because they want to get clean. Because they, they want to get clean, mm -hmm. especially after they've just come in. That's great. So you have a drip going. Does that drip go all the time? No, I have it on a timer. On a timer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've also noticed you have a mister, don't you? Well, I've just used a ho garden hose uh -huh. for a mister. A mister is a great idea. You know what? Uh, even hummingbirds like will use a yes. mister. Yes, they will. But um, I haven't set one up. What I've been doing lately is just sticking a hose in there and putting it on but spray. But that works great. And, yeah. It has worked real well. Good. Well, I know the other time we were here, we saw a lot of birds in the, in the water. How about your feeder? Uh, well, I have, as you can see, three different kinds of food there. I have uh, the sunflower seed in the shell, sunflower seed with a little bit of other stuff in it that's shelled, and then I have suet. Uh -huh. um, and then I have the platform and the tube feeders and the, the screen. So different birds like to eat different ways. Yes. And uh, and I have a raccoon guard because I have lots of raccoons guard, huh? and a squirrel guard. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. very important. 
Mm-hmm. Well, this is wonderful. It just feels so great back here. It's uh, a fun place to sit and watch birds. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm.